Welcome to this presentation on Independent Catalyst Test Report 2010. The presentation is given in five segments, each is about four minutes long. The first segment is Simplify Catalyst Selection. This is a main theme of our work, and the reason is because we believe that catalyst selection has become too complex today. There is a proliferation of brands out there. This is a list of brands of diesel hydrotreating catalysts that are being marketed today. And if someone from your refinery went out and looked to see what products are out there, they would run into these brands. And you can see that they would quickly have a big project on their hands just to find out what all these brands are and whose is whose. Then within the brands, there are many different flavors of products. By flavors, I mean like, for example, Cobalt Molly versus Nickel Molly fresh or regenerated, and the other flavors shown here. So if you take 20-some brands and multiply by all the different flavors, you can see that you quickly generate 100 options, and it becomes hopelessly complex. And then, for all the different options, there are many claims. Some of the claims are strong and some are weak. And usually they're based on the vendor's own data. So when you put them all together, you have a lot of information, but you have no common frame of reference, no way to tell who to believe. And what this all adds up to then is a confused customer. And I know this from my experience in working with a lot of refinery engineers. They quickly get confused by this bewildering ar array of brands, flavors, and claims, and they have no choice but to find some way to simplify. Catalyst selection has become too complex today. And as a result, it makes sense as a starting point to simplify your catalyst selection. Now, in the next segment, we're going to talk about one way to boil things down to make it more manageable.